Tim Cook decided to be nice with Jay and sent me the iPhone 7. Just joking, this is the replica. Here we go. What is going on everybody, this is Jay here from Maji and Jay and today I'm extremely excited to do the unboxing and the hands-on of the new Goof Phone i7 that came from the website DHK as always and as you guys know my seller from the past and it's still the present one is iBaby888 although I can't provide the link you guys will have to do your own search in case you are interested on this device but the main purpose is to make you aware that replicas are out there so that way you guys don't get scammed even though this one is very easy to catch Today as you guys know the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7 Plus was announced and I was really surprised to know how well the Chinese knew that this was exactly what they were going to release. At first this was considered a prototype a few days ago but from today this is considered the perfect replica of the iPhone 7 Plus. This one in particular is running the MTK65A0, it has 512 megabytes of RAM, it comes with 8 gigabytes of internal memory, it's running on the GPU Mali 400 so the specifications are quite mediocre to be honest with you. Now according to the website and to the seller's information, this one comes with the Android 5.1 Lollipop. You have to confirm that later on in the review. But for right now, you guys just saw the unboxing portion of the video. It basically comes here with the charger and also the USB cable, which is the 8-pin lightning port. And that's pretty much all we get inside. Oh, I forgot to mention that it also comes with the SIM ejector tool. So getting a look here on the front is where we're going to have that 5-inch display. Now this one is not going to be a retina display. This one has a resolution of 960 by 540. On the top here, it's going to have a 1.3 megapixel sensor camera. The new one or the iPhone 7 Plus does have a 7 megapixel sensor camera, which I'm really excited about. On the bottom here, we're going to have a fake fingerprint scanner. Now this is intended for you to use as a back key, home key, and also a menu key. It does have three functions in one. That's because um, Android does require the extra keys. Unfortunately, since this is a copy, we're not going to have it on the actual phone. On the left hand side of the phone, we find the silencer. We also have the volume rockers up and down. On the right side, we got here the power key. We also find the SIM tray. This is the nano SIM tray. Let's go ahead and confirm that here briefly. That's why I had this little SIM ejector around. And yes, this is the nano size, as you guys can tell. And it's also made of aluminum. Now the new iPhone, it is water resistant and also dust proof. It's because it is IP67 certified. Unfortunately, the replica is not going to have the certification. On the bottom, we can notice that the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is missing and that's because the original is exactly the same. We do have the mic on the left hand side and the speaker on the right hand side together with the charging port. Now on the top side it's still plain, we don't have anything on there and on the back side we have here the dual cameras. On the original one there are two 12 megapixel sensor. In this particular phone it's going to be only one 5 megapixel sensor and the other one is going to be a fake camera. We have there what appears to be the secondary microphone and that's also fake. We have the dual tone LED flash but we know that the new iPhone has now uh, four different LEDs on there to give you better um, colors when shooting pictures at night time. And finally towards the bottom side we got there the iPhone logo and it says designed by Apple in California, assembled in China, very common on Apple. And now with this being said, let's go ahead and power on the device and see if we do have any juice on here. I believe I just tested it and I had about 60% on here. And we can see that this time we got the black Apple logo with the white background. I believe that's the same thing that we're going to see on the iPhone 7 Plus. And to be honest with you guys, for the first time ever, I'm excited about the original one. I might get it just to try it out. And yes, I know that I have a lot of Android fans out there. But I still want to try new things to see how well they work. Most likely, I will not like the iPhone. But I just want to try it like I do every single year. And of course, provide the comparison between the real one and the fake one. So it is taking longer than usual to boot up. Again, this is running on Android. And here we can find the lock screen. Okay, very similar to iOS. We got the time, the date. We also have here um, the quick camera toggle. It's barely visible and it says slide to unlock. And on the top side there, we got the battery percentage and also the SIM notification. Right now, I don't have a SIM card on here. But I plan to install it 
probably on the review video. Getting a look here at the operating system, you can obviously tell that this is running a fake version of iOS 9, but truly underneath we're going to be running the Android 5.1 Lollipop as I mentioned earlier. Now something that is quite impressive about this screen is that even though it's 960 by 540, I believe that the viewing angles and the colors are quite vibrant. And you guys can notice that here when I flip the phone to the side, the colors are still there even though I have a lamp on top of me. But that's something that I did like about this particular replica, even though I know it has mediocre specifications for the price I would say it is quite reasonable so here we have the camera this is a really crappy uh, 1.3 megapixel sensor camera on the front side if you flip it to the other side we're going to find that 5 megapixel sensor it does have focus on there I'm pretty sure that if you view this on the daylight time it's going to do a lot better but I've seen replicas with really bad cameras including 1.3 megapixel ones on the back side so this one is quite okay considering that this is the first replica of the iPhone 7 plus so let's go ahead and take a look here at the operating system. Most of these applications are already in English, including the email application. As you guys can tell, it's uh, very basic. This is coming from maybe iOS 8 or 7. It's still the same application on there. We got calendars on here. We have photos, of course. This is very, very, very basic. Uh, nothing to really look at there. We also got maps. And I believe this is the Google Maps, if I'm not mistaken. But right now, it just crashed, as you guys saw. And that's because I think we don't have the Play Store on here. Uh, we got here the clock application. This time, it's a little bit different with a black background. Uh, we have the weather. And this is still provided by Yahoo. It's quite accurate, to be honest. Um, we also have here a wallet. Okay. And again, nothing changes there, but most of these features are not going to work, especially wallet. It's probably going to take you to a different application. Uh, we have notes, okay? We also have here uh, reminders. We have stocks. And even as we open the applications, you guys can see that for this being running only 512 megabytes of RAM and the MTK6580, it is doing quite fast. Now, keep in mind that I haven't downloaded um, you know, any games or applications into the device. So we got videos on here. We have iBooks, okay, which is again another application once you open it. We have here a fake version of iTunes. Now it looks quite similar to the original one and also here the App Store. This is not going to be the Android App Store. It's just some Chinese server, um, you know, with some applications on here. But I'm pretty sure that this thing is carrying a lot of viruses. So I wouldn't trust it to download applications. I would just root the device and install the Play Store as it is much safer. Uh, so with this being said, we have here an application that I've never seen before. And that's because maybe I haven't used, uh, you know, an iPhone for a very, very long time. Uh, my wife and I and my entire family, we have um, right now we're using Android, except my brother. But he lives all the way up in Kissimmee. But anyways. Uh, we got this application called family and every time I open it uh, this is what I'm prompted to so I really don't know exactly what it is I will have to get educated on it and probably on the review video if I find this uh, replica to be worth it I'm going to explain exactly what that is so we got here health this is very common as well we have again the settings on here now something that I don't see on this particular theme and that's because they change them from time to time is the 3d touch as of right now and unfortunately um, I haven't played a lot with the device uh, as a matter of fact I just opened it here with you guys so I really haven't played a lot with the you know with this particular phone but I have seen some other models with the 3d touch function yes we do have the 3d touch you just need to be patient I guess you can't hold it there we go you can't hold it really tight or you can't put a lot of pressure into it. That's what I meant to say. So let me try here with uh, reminders. And yes, it does It does work, guys. We do have 3D Touch on here, which is really cool. I was just doing it the wrong way. So there we can see that, yes, we do have it. And yeah, it is a nice little fake feature to have on there. So here we have the search menu, which gives you other stuff on here, just like we have seen on the modern um, iOS uh, versions, of course. If you double tap it, it's still going to take us to that task killer that we normally see. But again, this is all running on a theme, so it's not going to be as smooth as the original product, unfortunately. So if you swipe here from the bottom to the top, you're going to find control center, okay? And here we can see airplane mode, the Wi-Fi, uh, do not disturb the um, rotation locking and stuff. We also have here the brightness, and this is working as well, as you guys can tell. And we do have here the flashlight. Now the flashlight on this one, guys, is truly a joke. This is the worst flash that I've seen in a very long time. Now I will keep repeating on this entire video that this is the first replica, so we can't expect perfection as of right now. To be honest with you guys, for this thing to be a prototype, because it was released before the actual iPhone came out, I will have to say that the Chinese did a great job 
trying to figure it out and this thing is almost identical to the real one um, again you know I will have to buy it and compare it with this particular model and maybe by then we have even a better version of this replica but who knows we have there the watch application and such so again guys this uh, really doesn't change much from any other replica the only exception here is the design on the back we can notice now that the antennas are all the way on the top and by the way if you guys are curious this is made of aluminum and also on the bottom the antennas now go along the edge so they have been hidden and according to Apple there's a color that actually blends it in and you can barely see them I believe that's going to be the black version now I'm not sure how the um, gold version is going to look I think the antennas are still going to be visible but again I will have to purchase the device and show it to you guys in comparison so yes all in all I have to say that this replica does look quite cool now the battery seems to be weak as suspected I started this video with about 60% and right now I have 53% so with this being said guys I believe I have provided enough for the hands-on and if you guys want to learn more about this product I can make another video uh, this is just the unboxing and the hands-on of the product and hopefully when I get the original one which I'm going to pre-order it I can provide the comparison with the original. I will also like to mention that on the background, as you can tell, I have here the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, and this is not a replica. This is a refurbished device that I got from iBaby. Uh, he also sells original phones, in case you guys didn't know, and they come basically with Chinese parts. He gets them from around the world. Um, iBaby actually has a company that buys them from United States, uh, Canada, and like I said, around the world. And they just basically use the motherboard, the camera, and the major components like the fingerprint scanner and stuff but the uh, remaining of the parts like the body and the screen are made in China so you get a big discount by just purchasing a refurbished device I will be unboxing this particular model now by the time I do unbox it it's not going to be on the wrapper like you see it right now because I have to test it and check it out myself but yes you're going to see the video of this one very soon and also of the Yumi Max that you guys see back there so please stay tuned to the channel guys I have a lot of phone reviews coming very very shortly so make sure that you guys stay tuned to the channel don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't done so please like this video thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on my next one